guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today I got a good one for you guys. I got five different packages that just came through so of course we're gonna unbox them, take a look at them. Uh, I haven't seen any of them yet so we're gonna we're gonna take a deep dive. I don't normally plug the channel but hey, if you guys have not subscribed yet or liked the video, go ahead and do that right now. It truly helps out the channel. I really do appreciate each and every one of you but we're not gonna waste too much time on any of that. Let's just jump into the first pair. Uh, I don't know where to start. Let's go with this one. Where's my knife? Should have got my knife beforehand. Right, I know which one this is. Let me get this out of the way. Pretty plain Nike box. The Nike swoosh is actually cut out of the box. This did release earlier this month, so I got this on a restock. Now, it isn't my size because they didn't have my size available, but when this did come back in stock, a UK five and a half because that is my girlfriend's size, um, but I don't know if she's gonna like these. <laughs> but either way, I thought if she doesn't like them, at least we can take a look at them because I really like them. You get your little invoice here from End Clothing and you get two little dust bags. That's pretty cool. So instead of like one bag for both of them, you can have two individual ones. This is the Air Max 95 denim. This is the Nike denim collaboration that released earlier this month, I believe. I think it was this month. Either way, they, they released a couple Air Max models and this was one that I really liked. And now looking at it, it's super, super premium. So instead of like the normal material, you're getting, well, I guess denim. <laughs> so the company Denim, I believe is Japanese or they make Japanese denim. It's one or the other. Uh, never heard of them prior to this Nike collaboration. So it's pretty cool taking a look at these. It's not that crazy in terms of a collaboration. It's not that much different from a regular pair, but the materials that are being used here are super premium. This goes for 160 pounds, so it's not it's not like they charged you a super high price for these premium materials. We've got some branding on the inside. Denim the Jean Maker, and then it has a bunch of their logos, uh, which is just kind of like a bunch of scissors. You get that on the dust bag as well as on the insole of the, of the shoe. Also a nice little detail on the underneath there's a little text that says the truth is in the details. All right, so we've got one from Adidas. I actually got this from Adidas on the app as part of Creators Club Week, uh, and that's still going on if you wanted to kind of check out what they're doing there. They're bringing back a bunch of different shoes, which I'll explain in a second, but I just want to get these open. So here we go. So this is a 4D sneaker, and here you have it. This is the Parley. 4D. That actually looks so sick in this black colorway. I really like that. I actually did a review on the regular Poly Ultra Boost, um, but I haven't obviously seen this version, which is essentially exactly the same. They've just stuck a 4D midsole on it. This silhouette in general is really nice looking. Of course, you already know what Poly is. Poly is a company that is a very environmentally friendly or environmentally focused company. They partnered with Adidas to remove plastic waste from the ocean. So just a very brief explanation of what they do um, and how Adidas collaborates with them in order to just bring some more eco-friendly, sustainable products to the market. And when I was gonna review the Ultra Boost version, I had the choice of getting this black or the white pair. And I went for the white because I thought it looked better, but I'm really liking this black colorway now a lot more. These are 200 pounds. So again, you're paying a little bit more than the Ultra Boost version. To be honest, it's come a long way from what the 4D technology used to cost. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so next up we have, get them out, a pair of Jordan 1. So this one's from Foot Locker. As you can see, it is the red and black box with the black Nike branding. This is the Lucky Green. Jordan 1. So here you guys are. I'm sure a lot of you managed to get a pair or maybe you didn't. Let me know. You get a nice little tag here, which is almost like, you know, on some pairs of shoes, they, they give a little tag to represent the material that's being used. And I would say that is pretty much the case. Um, it's actually pretty nice and soft, especially up around uh, where your ankle would be up here at the top. And then you get your extra pair of laces on this one. Definitely wouldn't go with the red, 
um, maybe at Christmas time. They feel good. I'm, I'm happy with the materials. Of course, this is going to fit exactly like any other Jordan 1 sneaker. So it's not too much to say about that. But yeah, just thought I'd break them out. Give you guys a little look. That is one of my pickups. Uh, one of my most recent pickups. Oh, we've still got two to go. So let's take a look at those. Let's see what we got here. Ah. Oh, okay. This is actually the end clothing collaboration. So this is a really cool one. Here you go. This is an end clothing collaboration pair of sneakers. End clothing obviously being a UK company. That's why I use them a lot uh, because shipping is so quick. You may not have seen these. I think they still are yet to be released at a few different places. Um, obviously sold out on end clothing. God, they smell strange. It's almost like it's scented. This is the A6 uh, and end clothing collaboration. And this is the pearl colorway on the Gel Light 3 model. Wow, okay, it's a little bit more purple than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, quite a bit more purple. So, I mean, wow, this feels amazing. The materials on this feels incredible. The two flat style laces um, in the box. One is that same kind of pearl or purple pair. Uh, and then this one's like a sail colorway. On the shoe, out of the box, you get these rope style laces, which I think I like a lot more. And it says end on the aglet. So it says end and then A6, just kind of from one to the other. But yeah, this is actually my first pair of uh, A6 Gel Light 3s. First time seeing it, the quality is insane. Super well made. Feels really, really good. Feels like it's gonna be insanely comfortable. And of course, with the Gel Light 3 silhouette, you get that very strange kind of, I mean, it's not really a tongue. It's almost like it splits down uh, in the middle. Right, so just chucked them on briefly just to see how they feel. Um, just from standing, walking around here, uh, they're very comfortable. Mainly in the upper, because this upper is made out of it's really, really nice soft suede material and then kind of like a leather for the uh, like around the sock liner and of course that I guess tongue piece. Uh, again, any of the sneakers that I'm looking at today, if you would like me to do a little bit of a deeper dive into them, just let me know down in the comment section. Say, yeah, we want to see a review on these. Right, we have a pair of Yeezys. Now, look, this is like my freaking Nth Yeezy Quantum. I've got so many Yeezy Quantums because I guess just people are getting rid of them. So this is a Quantum Yeezy. Now this actually is, uh, this is actually one for my girlfriend, right? She actually likes these ones. So this is the Quantum with the boost on the side. You guys already know. Listen, it's not the bariums. Don't think I got stuck with the bariums again. We got oh, the OG, they're not wrapped. So I got my size, she got hers. Well, I mean, if they fit her, we'll, we'll see about that. But these actually restocked on End Clothing. And End Clothing does quite a few uh, restocks, so it's always worth checking out. So again, you know the story with the Quantums, they're not that popular right now, but it's still a sick model, especially if you can get this colorway. This is just the, the nicest colorway that they've got. Go. We made it to the end. Thank you guys so much for coming through. I do want to say to everybody, thank you so much for subscribing, liking the videos. I really do appreciate it. There is a lot more coming soon. I personally was thinking about doing maybe some clothing stuff. If you'd like to see any of that, maybe putting some fits together, finding some really good deals on outfits you could put together for like a hundred dollars or something like that. We will see, there's a lot of ideas. I've had a lot of help from subscribers who have let me know what they want to see in the future. So I would invite you to do that down in the comment section. Or of course, you can always message me on Instagram at LBell Sneakers if you haven't yet. It's always linked down in the description below. That wraps it up for the video today. Thank you guys so much for coming through. Just a little easy unboxing. I'm letting you know what I'm getting up to in October. Of course, I hope you guys are having a great month and are all getting whatever sneakers that you want, hopefully for retail as well. But either way, I'm gonna check out. Thank you guys so much for coming through again for yet another video. I will catch you all in the next one. Don't have the pair of shoes, but I'll just do this. But until then.